if we live our lives with the Lord, He will never disappoint us. Today, Holy Catholic Church commemorates all the departed souls. Pope Francis addressed to the multitude gathered at the square of the Basilica in Rome on 2nd November 2018. Today, we are remembering these brothers and sisters who lived before us and are now in heaven they are there because they were washed in the blood of Christ. That is our hope. And this hope does not disappoint us. If we live our lives with the Lord, He will never disappoint us. Today's Gospel reminds us that all authority and power is given to Son of Man who came down not to fulfill His own will but the will of Him who sent Him. Jesus proclaims remarkably about His mission of what purpose He came down. He came down that all may have life and have it to the full. Therefore. All those who believe in Him should not perish but have eternal life. He clearly speaks about His suffering, death and resurrection. That by His death, all those who believe in Him will have eternal life. His only will was to fulfill His Father's will that to regain all humanity from the slavery of sin. Therefore, as we partake in the sacrifice of Jesus Christ, it is good to pray for the souls in purgatory. Church encourages and recommends the faithful to pray for the souls. According to the Catholic tradition and its belief that when a person dies, if he or she are in a state of grace, they will enter heaven. If he or she had rejected God, they are denied of this privilege. And if throughout their lives they showed by works of charity and profession of belief in God, though they are not be in state of grace, they enter purgatory. Therefore, all the Catholics are obliged to pray and commemorate this day for the souls who went ahead of us. There is evidence from the early church leaders of praying for the dead, like Tertullian. He mentions praying for the dead not as a concession to sentiment but as a duty. Today's Gospel teaches us that how important in believing Jesus Christ in order to have eternal life. No one ever can attain salvation without the grace of God because grace of God helps us to remain and fulfill the will of God in each one's life. Therefore, living in grace is necessary to rise from the dead and to unite with God. Today, as we commemorate as Saul's Day, let us pray and meditate on our lives that one day we too will unite with Jesus Christ in heaven. Let us pray. Eternal Father, I offer you the most precious blood of your divine Son, Jesus, in union with the Holy Master celebrated throughout the world today, for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those in my own home and within my family. Amen.